Hello everyone, today's video is all about deferring your VAT payments to HMRC. So specifically, this applies to those people who had originally deferred the VAT that was due at the start of the coronavirus. So the dates were the 20th of March 2020 to the 30th of June 2020. So if you owed VAT in that period... The Chancellor announced way back when at the start of the pandemic that you wouldn't have to pay the VAT for that um, VAT that was owed in that particular period until the 31st of March 2021. Now, because obviously the things are still pretty bad and everything else with the whole pandemic and a lot of people um, <clears throat> financial difficulty, thankfully... There's been an announcement from HMRC to say, look, you don't have to repay that amount by the 31st of March. Because the deal was you uh, deferred what you owed for that uh, three-month period, slightly longer than three months. And then you had to pay in full uh, by March coming up, which is not too far away. But then the government um, in the last uh, couple of months has said, right, we're going to bring in this new deferral scheme for VAT payments only applies to those who deferred last year. And what happens is that you have to opt in to this new deferral payment scheme. Now, it's not open yet. It says on the website it'll be open in early 2021. We're now in early 2021. We're in February almost. Um, but still, you cannot opt in. And yet it says as well in the, in the rules, you have to have opted in by the 31st of March. So there's going to be a narrow window Whenever they get this thing up and running, you've got to opt in by the 31st of March. But the point being, when you do opt in, it basically gives you another 12 months to pay that VAT that is due. So the VAT that should have been paid um, in March, April, May and June 2020, well now you can spread that debt up to uh, 31st of March 2022. And in terms of how you pay... You can pay between 2 and 11 instalments starting in March 2021. So I suspect most people will go for 11 uh, monthly payments over that year, but you can pay it off quicker if you like. So in order to qualify for this new deferral scheme, which basically defers the previous deferral scheme, you have to have, first of all, been in that uh, first, um, you have to have deferred that VAT from 2020, and also you have to be up to date in your VAT admin. So all your VAT returns for the last four years have to have been submitted for them to even consider to let you have this extra 12 months deferral to to um, to pay it off by. So make sure you're up to date in your in your VAT returns. And the good thing about these instalment payments if you qualify, will be that they are interest-free. So that is a really good thing. So what else do we need to know about this? Um, well, what if, what if, let's say you were all up to date on your VAT returns from 2020, so you didn't defer any payments from the summer of 2020 that you were, you know, to, to now and then take advantage of the new scheme. But let's say you're all up to date, but things have got pretty bad in the last few months and now you are struggling to pay your VAT, this new deferral scheme doesn't apply to you. This new deferral scheme, where you spread it over 12 months, only applies to those people who deferred last year. But what if it's, it's a recent issue for you where you cannot afford to pay the VAT? In, and so then technically, you don't qualify under this particular deferral scheme. However, HMRC will still consider letting you spread the VAT debt using another mechanism which is called the time to pay arrangement. So HMRC will let you hopefully spread the payments under that mechanism. Indeed, that applies to other taxes, not just VAT, the, the time to pay mechanism. So a little bit complicated, the fact that you might think, well, OK, I've got a VAT issue. I can't afford to pay it. I want to spread it till March 2022. If you haven't already deferred from last year and you're all up to date, all of a sudden you've got a problem, you have to use the separate time to pay mechanism. And all you do is you pick up the phone and you call HMRC on 0300 200 3835. So I'll give you that number again, 0300 200 
3835. This is to get a time to pay arrangement on, on any HMRC debt. Doesn't have to be VAT. But like I said, if you qualify for the new VAT deferral scheme because you'd um, deferred VAT from last year, then you don't have to call. You just log in when the uh, website is up and running and opt in before 31st of March and let them know how many monthly instalments you, uh, you'd like to make to clear your to clear your VAT debt. Um, so that's just uh, an overview of the new payment deferral scheme. Do keep an eye on these things. Uh, the, the best source of reference actually is HMRC's website. It's one of the best, well, it is the best tax reference website there is. There's so much stuff on there. It gets updated every day. Uh, and it is very confusing with all these different um, deferment schemes for VAT, for income tax. You've got the, the furlough scheme, the self-employed income support scheme. So many different things going on. Uh, it is hard to keep track of it all. But thankfully, HMRC's website is really good. And you can go on there, search it and, and find out hopefully what you're looking for. But um, yeah, so but do get on the phone if you don't automatically qualify for spreading your debt because the last the worst thing you can do is if you get beyond the date that the tax is due to then try and do a deal at that point it's always better to get on the phone before the deadline for making the payment when you know that you can't afford to make the payment and do a deal to spread the debt with HMRC if indeed you don't qualify for this automatic um, register on the computer system. So that's just an overview of the new payment deferral scheme for VAT. If you like this video, please subscribe there and I will see you soon.